I pulled smooth in the parking lot. I made sure I seen her and guess what I did? I pulled up behind her just like she pulled up behind my husband. And I gets out the car. I knocked on the window. She looking at me all stunned like she didn't think the ghost. So she lets the window down or whatever. I'm like, good morning, how are you? What's up, Incredible Fam? Welcome back to another episode of Mommy Chronicles. I wanna be with you always. Cause that is what my heart says. That's what my heart says. I wanna be with you always. You are my world in every place. It's the things I you do. And it's the smile on your face. sat down with you guys one-on-one -on -one by myself and did a mommy chronicle session of course of course this is always going to be the incredible scots however sometimes i like to sit down with the incredible fam and just have some mommy and me time and just chop it up with you guys uh this morning this what is this afternoon i have some i just got some fries and I got a veggie patty. I got some of my own little homemade Polynesian sauce. And I got a jalapeno here and some water. Um, I have a strawberry letter. <laughs> I have a strawberry letter for you guys. Here we are once again. We have not done this in a while. So I'm super duper excited about it. Um, Y'all already know what the deal is. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome to the Incredible Fam. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell to be notified every single time we drop a video. And make sure that you tell somebody to tell somebody that the Scots are doing big things right here on our channel. Without further delay, I'm getting ready to get into Grace so that I can go ahead and get into my food. And we can get into this letter. Um, let's get it. Father, I thank you for this food that I am about to receive for the nourishment of my body for Christ's sake. Amen. All right. So, like I said, I made me some little homemade Polynesian sauce. Um, I absolutely love uh, Chick-fil-A's Polynesian sauce, but I don't love the salt that's in it because for that little bitty old packet, it's over 200 and something milligrams of salt. And y'all already know how your girl be. If it's loaded with salt, I ain't fooling with it. So, I had to make my own. Little switch a roof. There we go. Okay. So, happy Tuesday. Well, it's Monday for me. But it'll be Tuesday when y'all get there. Um... Like we said the other day, we've been working like some Hebrew slaves, y'all. We've been working our tails off, just trying to accomplish some things so we can move and, you know, get some things squared away and all of that good old stuff. So, bear with us, y'all. We know that, you know, we haven't been putting out a whole lot of videos a whole lot, but... Please bear with us. Trust and believe. We ain't going nowhere. No time soon. This is home for us. And we ain't leaving. Period. Period, boo. Okay. So... I know y'all ready to get into this letter. So let's get it. Here we go, y'all. This letter is entitled, How do I deal with opposite gender friends in my marriage? 
Okay. So the letter reads as thus. Hi, I would like a little advice about my situation. My husband just started working with a new woman and they have become fast friends. I know my husband loves me very much and I trust him fully. However, they are in contact very often. They text each other pretty much every day and a couple of texts that I've read seems a bit flirty on her end. For example, she'll say things like, good morning, sunshine, can I give you a call? Or she'll tell him, if you leave your job, I would have more of an excuse to see you outside of work. He has never said anything flirty to her on his end. And yes, mostly they do text about work. The problem is that I just don't know her. Their friendship just does not involve me and he has asked if he can go out and get a drink with her after work a couple of times. I've told him some of my concerns and he thinks I'm just being sensitive and that they are just friends. I have more of the anger towards her of thinking she can take control and attention from my husband. I think she might be insecure and is thriving off of the attention he is giving her and maybe he is enjoying the attention back as well. What would your advice be? Because I want to be able to let my husband be friends with other women, but this situation makes me a little bit uneasy. What is your advice? Baby. So, first thing first, Let's just address this. First thing she said that kind of like threw up a red flag for me was, my, my husband just started working with a new woman and they have become fast friends. So I get it. You know, men and women can be friends and all of that. It's just been kind of like my experience that first of all let me just put it like this because I'm a woman I can say this women have this side to them that they are very conniving women have this side to them that what they want they gonna get so I have this outlook on that I feel like this. If we can't all be friends, then you ain't his friend. Period, Pooh. That's just how I feel. So, the next thing is the whole text message thing. I would feel like this. Because of the relationship that me and my husband have, for instance, I'm going a, I'm to a, um, give y'all a little scenario. So, I was at work one day, and this guy comes in. And I should always tell y'all, I don't know if some of the people that I work that I work with. You know what? Okay, so, this guy comes in. Fast forward. All I'm going to say is, I can feel the whole little, you know, the little I like you type of vibes. So, I'm just like, I'm not getting ready to pay it no mind. It is what it is. And then a couple of times, he had to call into the office or what have you. And I was the one to answer the phone. So, it was still them little like, you know, like, I like you little vibe. First thing I did I came home, I tell my husband, or whatever, and I didn't tell him because I felt like I did anything wrong. I told him because I know how people are. Now, I ain't trying to get all deep and spiritual on y'all, but the Bible says, don't let your good be evil spoken of. So even though my intent was not to, you know, have no type of feelings or no type of issues or dealings with this guy or anything like that, 
I don't really fully know what his intentions were. So my plan was to not let my my good be evil spoken of. I need to let my husband know off the flip what's going on. So because my outlook is or our outlook in relationship is as long as I'm up front with you and let you know what's going on, can't nobody else come to you and tell you nothing because I know how people are. And people will try to make it seem like that you're doing something that you're not doing or try to like make little sly remarks like, oh, y'all like each other. But no, baby, no, I'm married and I like my husband, period. So that was that. So I feel like I'm saying all of that to say this. He shouldn't have even let them texts be going on without him coming to his wife like, hey, you know, this my friend. And I think she may be reading a little too much into our friendship. Let me read to you what she said through this text message. Because... The fact that you being all secretive is what makes it look like you got something going on and you may not have anything going on. All right. So she says, the girl says, if you leave your job, I would have more of an excuse to see you outside of work. Mm-mm. No ma'am, Pam. Because you see that... <laughs> That's the type of games that I don't play. Because it sounds like, and, okay, let's pretend like she ain't trying to come on to him. But it sounds like she is. And so, that's a bad place to be when you are married. Because now, you crossing lines of trust. And now you crossing boundaries. So, the wife goes on to say, he's never said anything flirty back to her. Now, see me, the type of person that I am, I would feel like if you hiding from me what she's saying to you, are you hiding from me what you're saying to her? Because it's real easy to delete text messages and be like, I ain't even respond to her. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want y'all to interpret my conversation as though I'm saying that it's inappropriate for married people to have opposite sex friends. That ain't what I'm saying. And to back that up, y'all need to know my best friend is a man. And Never, not once, have we ever crossed any boundaries or anything like that. That is my brother, period, point blank, has been my brother for over 20 years. My husband knows our relationship. My And see, the difference with this relationship and the relationship that this girl is talking about on here, the difference is me, my husband, and my best friend, Tony, we can all get together and we can all hang out, chop it up, laugh, go places, do things. We do stuff with his wife and all type of stuff like that. That's when there's no underlining issues or no underlining things there that, you know, you're trying to be all secretive about. So that's one thing I remember I was at work and one of my coworkers was all like, um, so yeah, how your husband feel about you having a male best friend? I was like, he don't feel nothing. He feel like, that's my brother. So, first question is, y'all ain't never, y'all ain't never crossed no lines? No. Ever. Never. Ever. You want to know why? Because that's my brother. So, that type of relationship I don't feel there's nothing wrong with it. But when I feel like when a married person has a friend that's of the opposite sex and they spouse can't hang out too, like something ain't right. Like, mm-mm. Because 
even when you have same sex best friends like for instance i have a female best friend tracy me and my husband and her and her guy we have went you know out to go get ice cream and hang out double dates like that's what you do when you have friends and you're in a relationship you incorporate your relationship into your friendships but if your friendship can't intertwine with your relationship then there's something that's not right well i feel like that a lot of times men use that all oh you being insecure type of thing as a way to kind of shut us up like oh i don't want the female be like oh i don't want to seem uh insecure or anything like that but i always tell my husband i always tell my husband you don't know women like i know women because i'm a woman so i know the little secretive hidden motives and agendas and stuff like that of women because i'm a woman and that's just in the nature of a woman while women are kind-hearted some women are kind most women are kind-hearted and lovers of people and you know compassionate and sensitive and stuff like that women got this whole other side that when she people do it don't matter what's going on it's like ooh, i'm on that and all that kind of stuff. So, I just feel like, for all the girl here, that's a no-go for me. That's an absolute no-go for me. Because, I ain't saying, yo, every conversation has to involve me. But first of all, mm -mm, no new friends, pumpkin. That's just how I feel. I remember... <laughs> Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. I remember my husband, uh, he was working for like the little bus company here or whatever. And there was this girl. My husband came home from work. He was like, yeah. This girl, she pulls up, he finna pull out his parking spot. He's parked like this. She pulls up behind him like that and blocked him in the spot she gets out the car and she walks up to where he had knock on the window she's like um i just wanted to give you my number boom let's let's stop right there now i'm gonna be honest with you first mistake on the line scott's part was that he took the number granted he showed me the number and all of that good old stuff he told me everything that went down but my thing is i'd have been like no thank you i don't do that but anyway so anyways on with the story so she gives him the number and she gets back in her car she drives off he tells me all of this guess what your girl did guess what your girl did i was off work that morning i was like i'm dropping you off we pull up <laughs> we pull up i pull smooth in the parking lot I made sure I seen her and guess what I did? I pulled up behind her just like she pulled up behind my husband. And I gets out the car. I knocked on the window. She looking at me all stunned like she didn't think the ghost. So she lets the window down or whatever. I'm like, good morning, how are you? She was like, I'm fine. I was like, my husband told me that you gave him your number and I had the number in my hand. I was like, my husband told me that you gave him your number and I just wanted to give it back to you and to let you know, we don't have friends. Have a good day though. And I walked away. And it was what it was. Because I ain't stupid. I'm not dumb. I know the agenda, first of all, of the enemy. And I'm watching. Bible says to watch and pray. The Bible says to watch and pray. So I'm always watching and I'm always praying. And my husband will tell you, I'm just the type of person. For instance, it was this lady when we worked together. It was this lady, or she was a younger girl. 
she worked she worked with all of us but see she worked on my husband's shift my husband worked the evening shift i worked the morning shift so we would only be in the facility together for maybe like two three hours of the day and then the rest of the night he was there and she was there so the girl in front of me she was all like you know, real cool or whatever. And hey, how you doing? She was from another country. She talked like foreign. But she was all real cool and stuff in front of me. Conversation, cool. But see, the type of person that I am, y'all, if you ever get a chance to be around me, I'll lay back in the cut real good. And I'll just be peeping my surroundings. That's just me. I'm a seer. I see. I Even though I don't be saying stuff, People be thinking they can like pour the wool over my eyes, but I be seeing so well. But anyways, so, you know, she playing the whole little friend role while I'm around and stuff like, oh, she cool and all of this good old stuff. So this one particular night, I'm going to tell you how, this is why it pays to have a relationship with God. So, um, you know, she playing the whole friend role. So this one particular night... I'm sleep. I go into this dream. And in the dream, I ain't gonna go deep into the dream, but in the dream, she was pursuing after my husband. So now it was not her in the dream, but it was a girl that looked identical to her. So this is what happens in the dream. You know, she basically she's pursuing after my husband. Well, I wake up from the dream. My husband was at work at this time. I think he was at work. I can't remember. But anyway, I wake up from the dream. I call him. He like, uh, hey, what's going on? I'm like, oh, nothing. So I'm like, let me tell you about this dream I just had. So he's like, all right. I tell him the dream, like, straight break it down. And let me tell you another thing about myself. I'm the type of person that when I have a dream, God always gives me insight into exactly what the dream means. It's just what it is. So anyways, so I tell him the dream or whatever. So he gets super quiet. So I'm like, hello. He like, ah, I've been wanting to tell you. And so I'm like, what's going on? Basically, everything that I dreamed, period, point blank. So I'm telling y'all all of this just to tell you, look. If, if your man come home, if your woman come home, and they talking about they got a new friend at work that's of the opposite gender, trust your intuition. Period. If you feel like it's an apple, it's an apple. Period. So, that's just what I feel. I ain't saying that men and women can't be friends or anything like that, but I just feel like when people get to going across lines and stuff like that, and then want to sit up sending you little sneak text messages about like old girl was talking about spending time with him outside of work and stuff like that boo no only person spending time with him outside of work is moi period point blank and that's just what it is but um uh, let me see what else she's saying oh she goes on to say that she has more anger towards the woman because the woman feel like she can control all of his attention and stuff like that. That's your first mistake, boo. Your first mistake is, and which is a mistake of a lot of women, the first thing that they go to do is want to attack the woman. But this is my outlook. This is how I feel. When you get before God, and the preacher and your spouse you making a vow to your spouse to uh for better or for worse for goodness and health uh rich or poor all of that good old stuff you making that covenant with that person you're obligated to love that person and to care about their feelings so why is you expecting this random woman that the only thing she want is your man why are you expecting her to care about your feelings? So that ain't where your anger should be to towards. Your anger should be towards or your frustration should be towards the person that stood before God and made this vow with you. And I feel like that that's where women make the biggest mistake of all. They will sit up and they'll turn around 
and they will accept back a man who have cheated on them and you know uh, been very dishonest with them and things like that they will accept them back with open arms but then they'll turn around and be ready to scandalize the name of the woman that he slept with or they'll be ready to uh fight or whatever you want to call it going on facebook making posts about them and stuff like that but you don't understand how that makes you look they make you look like the fool because at the end of the day he didn't play you and your anger is towards her but y'all all cuddled up at the end of the night and he's still back no ma'am pam no ma'am pam that ain't how that ain't how it goes down i just feel like that that's that's whack I ain't saying I ain't saying that the woman don't hold some type of responsibility in the situation because of course she shouldn't be messing with no married man or no man in a relationship. However, that ain't that girl's responsibility to love you or to care about your feelings. That's your man's responsibility. So that's who you need to be mad at. If you want to scandalize somebody's name, scandalize his. Period. Anyway. So, she says, um, she talk about, she think that the girl might, <laughs> she think that the girl might be insecure. I just feel like, I don't think the girl is insecure. I think she real secure in herself. Because she approaching your man like that's her man. So she ain't the one that's insecure. No. You got it wrong, too. So then she goes on to say, she thinks that her husband likes the attention back. Which that very well could be the truth. However, all attention is not good attention. So I just feel like that her next question is, what is your advice? This is my advice to you, pumpkin pie. My advice is, is that you need to take back control of your relationship. That does not mean that you hold all of the control, but that means that you guys hold mutual control and that you need to come to a mutual agreement when it comes to opposite sex friends. I feel like old girl needs to set some boundaries and you can't just be on hush when he say, oh, I'm going to hang out with my friend or, oh, I'm texting my friend or, oh, I'm on the phone with my friend. There needs to be some boundaries set. That's just how I feel. If your wife ain't happy, God ain't happy. If your husband ain't happy, God ain't happy, period. And it's just what it is. So my advice to this woman right here, get control of your relationship. Because there's obviously something that's going on between you, I'm, I'm sorry, between your husband and between, oh girl, and it's something that's not right, period. It's something that's not right. Because there is absolutely no way in the world that my husband is going to have a female friend that I don't know nothing about, I can't say nothing to her, I can't hang out with y'all. She can't come over to the house and we all hang out together. I can't go over to her house with you. I can't be like, oh, you got a text message from Shaquila. Shaquila, what's up, girl? Without you being like, give me my phone. Something, something ain't right. You like Shaquila and Shaquila like you. And y'all might as well be together because you ain't finna be with me and Shaquila at the same time, period. So, that's just how I feel. Um, I really don't have a whole lot more to say on the topic. Y'all already know what the deal is. If it's anything, y'all found if y'all find any strawberry letters, your girl is back with the mommy chronicles. If y'all find any strawberry letters, um, or anything like that, send them over to your girl so that I can incorporate them on the channel on mommy chronicles segment. Uh, make sure y'all send them over and that's it that's all and that's it if y'all have any comments make sure you comment down below let me know what y'all feel about this whole thing about this whole situation what is your outlook on opposite sex friends with married people tell me what y'all think 
Tell me what's your opinion. Tell me what's your truth. Uh, comment down below. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, share this video with every single body that you know. We absolutely love you guys so very much. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome to the incredible fam. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell to be notified every single time that we drop a video. And make sure that you tell somebody to tell somebody to tell some. Body, that the Scots are doing big things right here on our channel. We absolutely positively love you guys so very much. I want to be with you always Cause that is what my heart says That's what my heart says I want to be with you always You are my world in everything